wow. When we're looking at this one, we understand our u is ln of x. I don't have anybody has an issue with that. Yes. OK, so let's maybe rewrite this. We can rewrite this as 1 over x times 1 over square root of ln of x times dx. Would you guys, would you agree? OK, so again, what we're looking for is we're looking for, when we're looking for u substitution, we're looking for a function that's inside of another function. Well, this is kind of plain and simple. That's 1 over x. But over here, we can see that there's a couple things that are going on. You could, um, uh, you can see that there's kind of the same thing. It's another reciprocal. And you could say that there's a square root of, um, you could say that there's a square root of ln of x inside of the function 1 over x, right? Or you could also say that there's an ln of x inside the square root of x, right? So what I do in my brain to look, if this is going to be u substitution, then I know when I find du, the derivative of my u and dx have to be in there. Well, the derivative of the square root of uh, ln of x is not like apparent in this problem. However, if I think of what is the derivative of ln of x, that's 1 over x. And oh, 1 over x, like that's 1 over x right there, right? You could think about that. So that's kind of where you're thinking. Again, you're looking for the u, the function that's inside of the other function. And again, that just kind of comes with practice. And maybe try. Maybe you get the wrong u, but then you'll see that, oh, it doesn't work because your dx wouldn't be a positive. So you'd have to go back and pick another u. Okay. So anyways, when I get to this, I get uh, derivative of ln of x is going to be, so it's, again, it's derivative d of u over d of x equals 1 over x. So what that gives me is du is equal to dx over x. I just multiplied the dx on both sides. And again, guys, like that means if we rewrite this, if I just find to go ahead and integrate this, um, I can integrate this from, uh, let's see here, I'm going to have 1 over the square root of u du. So now what I do is I replace my u, right? Now typically, do we really like doing integration with 1 over the square root of something? No, but we could probably rewrite it like this, u to the negative 1 half. Isn't that a little bit easier? Wouldn't you guys agree? Yes? yes. And therefore, when I go ahead and integrate this, I'm basically going to have this um, integration. This is going to be plus 1 half, and then it's 1 over. So I mean, I'm sorry, it's plus 1, which would give me 1 half. <laughs> And then divided by 1 over 1 half, which would be multiplying by 2. And then I plug the u back in. So therefore, I'd have 2 ln of x to the 1 half power, not plus c, because we're evaluating it from e to the fourth to e. Does everybody see what I did? I basically took the anti, I basically found the antiderivative of this, plugged, replaced u back in. I'm not doing plus c because this is a definite integral, not an indefinite. So now I'm just going to evaluate it from this part. If, if this, these numbers weren't up here, then I could just go ahead and do plus c. Or if those numbers weren't up there, it, could, it would just look like this. 2 u to the 1 half um, plus c. And then I just plug back in u, which is ln of x. Sorry. Right? If these numbers weren't up there, I could just plug those back in there. Yes, that's what we did last class period, was just plug the values back in, plug u back in, and you would get your, anti, you get your integral. 2 ln 2 to 1 half power. So now let's go and evaluate this, though. So therefore, that is 2 to the um, ln of e to the fourth raised to the 1 half, which is really the square root. Um, Remember, guys, that we're, that 2 is on the outside. So let's go ahead and um, you could do it to both of them. But sometimes I just like to leave it at the outside. And then that's going to be ln of e to the 1 half. I'm going to erase this so I don't get overly confused. Now e, ln of e is just going to be 4. So it's really 2 square root of 4. And if I'm making a mistake, let me know this time. 
minus e to the e is really 1, so it's minus the square root of 1. So we have square root of 4, which is 2, minus square root of 1, which is 1. So it would be 2 times 3, which is 6. Yes, no, maybe so. I don't know. Square root of 4 is 2, so it would be 2. See? I'm losing my mind. You guys, I'm just waiting for you guys to find. Thank you for the catch. All right, you know what? Now you're getting smart with me. Yes, thank you very much. It is. Oh, geez. It's two. I'm just like not 100% there. This whole week I haven't been 100% there. Yes, question. OK. So ln of e raised to the fourth is? Okay. ln of e, do you know what that is? What? 1. ln of e to the 2 is just 2. So whatever the power is, it's like 1, it, so it raised to that. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? I don't know if I'll give you guys, what's today, Wednesday? I mean, hmm. 